Oh, we just got kicked out. All right, rocking up. Where's the Texas rig? Oh, messed that up. Man, you got your boots on. You got boots. I I almost forgot too. They're in the trunk, so. Normally, if top water was on, you know, they'd be like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, there we go. Oh. Ooh. I, right I, I missed it, but I heard the splash. That's how it started. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah. Yes, oh, dude. <laughs> oh, nice, man. Man, this looks good back here. I doubt this ever gets hit. nuts man we're off to the third pond you guys we can't seem to get a bite at these ones I'm fishing all the time over here cranking them so we got places to be man can't be slowing down I'll see you guys at the spot number three fish with them I'm like you have not touched your GoPro and it's just running the whole time we'll see what happens with the old Adriatic oh bro dude oh, uh, a good one that's two and a half easy easy oh spooked oh dude they're they're here Nick another three there's a there's a couple over here. Dude, stop! Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Chill, chill. He's good, dude. He's three and a half easy. Damn! I had him bite. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Get, get in there, get in there. Yes. Here, chunk it in there. You're the visitor. Come on. You got him. You got him, dude. You got him. You got him. Let it drop. Oh, he's going to smoke it. Yes. Yes. Dude. Woo. <laughs> Land that baby. Yes, man. That's what's up. That's what's up. <laughs> Oh you know, man, right there. that's what I'm saying. Where's your camera? You got it? Oh yeah, sorry. Okay. It should be on. Okay. It is, it is, it's on. It's green light. Cool. Yeah. Check it out guys, dude. Look at this fish, man. Weston saw him. Dude, if she was fattened up, this thing is skinny and it's almost a four and a half. Dude, <laughs> yeah, Wes, appreciate it, my man. Thank you, My sir. pleasure, dude. I'm glad she spanked that worm. I figured they see a wacky rig all the time. Dude, that was just crazy. off the chain. All right. You seeing him in front of you every once in a while? I, I just saw a decent one cruising your way. Really? Yeah. All right, guys, we're about to make a switch. Let me get in the sun. We're about to make a switch to one of the channel favorites, man. One of those city urban spots I hit a lot. I've got high confidence in this one, so I think we're gonna link up. There's four of us fishing, and I think only two, two of us have caught a fish. We're gonna see you at this next pond. Gang, we're taking a quick commercial break. We're gonna head over to the Raisin Canes, get us some chicken, and then we're gonna hit pond number four. How about that? And we're gonna have some fun in the city on this next one. I'm thinking we can get all the boys linked up, but I don't wanna speak too soon, so, you know, might just not put this in the edit. Up to the office pond at Hall Park. About to kill it, very excited. We are full and ready to fish again. We got the whole gang over here. Stealth mode parking across the street because you know how security is around this place, but the good news is it's about 11.40, so I'm thinking they're probably about to hit lunch break. Gives us plenty of time to rip some lifts, so let's get after them. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Mark's over there. He got one. Oh, something just went for it. I just uh, I just had one get, uh, bite it. 
Yeah, I don't know if it was a bluegill or a bass, but I was kind of like about to bring it in and it hit the hit it right on top. I could probably get away with that jig right here. Oh yes, yes, dude. Wow, wow. <laughs> oh, they're on a frenzy. Yes, yes, they're on a frenzy. <laughs> That was so cool. I think he's got it. Dude. No chomp, no tails on here, nothing, dude. Smoked it. I think he had it for a second. He was eating it. I don't know how I missed that. Time for a new bug. Back to back bites, he caught a good one. Nice. Yeah, I think Mark got like a, he was, he was two pounds easy. I set the hook and missed one just now as well. Man. All right, guys, for the record, I feel like I'm going to lose this jig. Just want to state that. There he is. There oh, is he on? He's on. He's on. It's a little guy. I'm like, where'd he go? <laughs> I don't feel much weight here. First one of the day, fourth pond of the day. That's how we like it. You guys have not seen the struggle, but it has led to this Mondo right here. Barely hooked. He almost got off on me, ladies and gents. Woo wee. All right, we have found the bite. They're hungry right here. We got to get it while the getting's good. It's lunchtime, baby. 10 out of 10 on that dive. I don't know if y'all saw that. Another vlog coming to you from the uh, office park here today. I'm out here with Mark, Christian, and Nick. Channels are going to be linked down below. They're actually in town for the Guggen Warehouse opening this weekend. We figured we'd get some early fishing in the day before, and fish is on. Look at that. <laughs> oh, he just came off. Dude, Mark has been raking these things up. Believe it or not, we're actually at the fourth spot of the day. I haven't caught nothing until now. We're gonna crack these things while the bite is good. Let's go. There he is. That's number two. That's bigger, bigger. There we go. Come on, baby. Yee! No, no, he's okay. He's not too big. He's fat, he's fat, dude. A small mouth, but. Yes, fat so. That might be, this could be a two and a half for how short it is. Wow. And these rocks, man, it's crunch time. Just get, get in here. They're coming up to feed, dude. Hey, you know what, Mark? Could you hook me up when you bring that one in? It's already rolling. All right, guys, we are yanking them out of the rocks over here. Scope this out. Hammering the T-Rigs. Hammering, what are you throwing? I'm throwing a little Lake Fork Shad. Single little, tail. Okay, little Lake Fork Shad single tail is what Mark's rocking. He's getting a ton of fish. Look what just hit the jig, though. Decent size sucker for me. Best one of the day so far. That's a solid two, two and a half easy. Um, she's eating right. And the jig is definitely stuck. Oh, no. All right, I got to break out the pliers. But look, the bite's on. We got to get back in there, you guys. That was a fun fight right there, though. I'm telling you, these rocks, man, throw those jigs. About to head to pond number five. Pond four was a big success for all of us. We're about to head to number five. I think the getting's only getting started. Before we hit spot number five, go ahead and be sure to check out the boys' channels. We all decided to link up the day before Guggen Warehouse opening. I think I have the least amount of subscribers out of the whole bunch right here, so I'm gonna drop them down below. Uh, we kind of sought each other out looking to do a collaboration right before the opening of the Guggen Warehouse and I'm, I'm super pumped about the whole deal man. We all caught some good fish and I think you guys are going to enjoy this one. Let's get over to the next spot. We've reached the no fishing sign zone. Just like the last time I was here man, it was like Friday afternoon. I bet these employees just trying to get home, you know, security, they, they're in the office, in the AC, they don't want to come out here. It's a sweet little spot. You guys have seen it in a previous video. It's only been featured once, so maybe second time's the charm here.
Okay, just starting off at the fifth pond. I'm gonna throw the jig to start. We'll see if I don't lose it. Oh, okay. Dude, cranks. You might wanna you might wanna tie one on. No, you're good. I'm gonna go over you. Dude, the wind is cranking. There he is. Oh, dude. What's going on? What's on mine? Throw it. What's on my rods? You can throw one. I don't know if anything's good, honestly. Oh, maybe the, uh, the, um, the jerk thing. Yeah, I was jerking. There he is. There he is. Oh, he's pretty good, dude. Oh, dude. Good. You, you got my back? <laughs> hey, this is trebles, though. So watch it. Just, just pull him up. It's Bray. Just pull him up. Just pull him up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Do you have pliers on you? Pliers. Uh... Oh, no. Okay. All right. There we go. All right. That was good. That was, that was better than I expected. I think I had a decent vantage point up there. That was not bad. I, for, for the longest time, did not throw anything except for the KVD 1.5 Sexy Shad crankbait. That was like, definitely my like confidence bait back in the day. I think this drain is the juice right here. Dang. Guys, Mark just cranked a good one over here at the private spot. I don't even know what on. What'd you get him on? Let me see if I can show you. Oh my gosh, you're joking. On this? No way, he just cranked a big one on this thing. It's probably out of focus. It should be lined up now. <laughs> oh my gosh, okay. I gotta get back in the water. This is nuts, the bite's on man, cranks, I'm telling you. It, this, this breeze, this Nick's breeze on. has got him going. Nick's on. Oh, Nick's on as well. Yeah, baby. I'm a crank, he's not as big as Mark's. <laughs> oh, Hell yeah, that's what I'm talking about, man. It's crank time, y'all. That's that's a nice little pound and a half for man. On that Carl's Thorpe. Th yeah. th 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 <laughs> man, I'm sorry, oh man. It's a tongue twister. Th th <laughs> on the Carl's Amazing Baits Thwacker. Y'all, if you want to save an extra 30% off your tackle, go ahead. I'm going to drop the link down in the description below. I can go ahead and get you guys the hook up on some awesome tackle, man. Absolutely love the Thwacker right there, that lipless crank. Slays, man. <laughs> I'm telling you, I don't think this place ever gets fished. I don't think anybody gets away with this. Here we go. I got one for the fans. Oh, he might be a little too big, actually. <laughs> That's not bad. I, I can dig it. <laughs> that one was just for you guys at home. <laughs> How you doing? Oh, doing fantastic now. The bite, the bite's on. <laughs> it seems like they've been hitting closer to this bridge, so I just had to bust a move for y'all. Throw a little studly lipless right over here and get, get homie. We're gonna see if we can pull that 10 for 10 dive. Oh. Yeah, just like a, a big one. I just ripped him over this thing. Yep, tossed him back. We, uh, no, my, my whole group's here. We caught about six or seven out of here so far. Yeah, I I didn't either until recently. <laughs> yeah, have a good one, y'all. Dang! Oh, there he is. Got him. This is too much fun. 
Easy does it, cowboy. Actually, the last one I caught was three, four times the size. It was a big one. Yeah, this one is just a little, a little tight compared to the last one. So, <laughs> thank you. Somebody got the word. Yeah, I've, I've, I've fished it one time before and I caught quite a few. Uh, there's a bunch of no fishing signs, so most people probably don't fish oh, here. Really? Yeah, it's just for, probably for the business, just trying to keep it tidy. And so, yeah. we're generally speaking respectful, but uh, I figured a little catch and release doesn't hurt nobody. Yeah. <laughs> you, you, you probably wouldn't want to eat these, right? Uh, no, I, I, we just do it for the sport. Yeah, cool, man. <laughs> Thank <Sport>. you. <laughs> hey guys, we got another one on deck. We're actually fishing from the second story. We're yanking them over the guardrail. Shoot! Snag us another. Like I get paid off of views, but hardly anything at this point. And uh, the guy over there in the blue, he's making a decent income off of just his views alone. So like once you start getting views, then random advertisers can run promotions on your videos. And so he'll get paid more off of that. And then also like off of Amazon affiliate marketing, there's um, like if I have a, a rod or a reel that I like, I usually link it in the descriptions of my videos and you can make three to 6% commission off of like a rod or a reel that sells. So there's like, there's a bunch of different ways to make money, but it's all technically, it's like through YouTube, but it's not all YouTube specific, you know, different yeah. companies and whatnot. So, yeah, you know, no, not at, no, not at all. <laughs> Maybe. Yep. Yep. Okay. <laughs> See, he's a little bigger. Yeah. That's not bad. There we go. So when I chop my edits together, I'll probably just go from that last one and then I'll cut to this one. And then, you know, I'll show 10 fish catches at a couple ponds we've hit today and That'll be, that'll be a wrap. Easy does it. Yeah, yeah, the way it wiggles and they just see the, the, the flash. Yeah. You know, the, the, what they would call this one is almost like a reaction bait. Uh, There's some that you might throw like down on the bottom, like worms and whatnot. And so, oh, nice. Nick's on too, you guys. We're filming. Yeah. <laughs> so they just see the flash and they're just like, what, you know, something swimming. And so you just kind of catch them off guard or, or you know, they just kind of whip at it and then the trebles get them. Now, uh, if they really got a good look at it, they may or may not go for it, you know, but since it's just kind of cruising on by, um, yeah. There we go. Fish number, I would say five for me out of this spot here, you guys. Rocking and rolling. I was just about to say, man, I'm about to just sit down and take a little break, have me some ice water. We've been yanking them, man. The boys were killing it out of the shade right here. Like they got probably five a piece. I was fishing off the second story in this corner over here. Literally just caught a bunch, but we just got kicked out. So we're gonna head to the next pond probably. We might even call it a day. Uh, we can finally put this thing together, man. The bite had picked up at pond number five, I think this is. Just absolutely slaying them, dudes. I mean, one back to back to back off the bridges. You saw, it was a bunch of fun. So anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, don't forget to check out the other guys' channels, Nick, Christian, Mark. I can't believe they invited me out today. It was a bunch of fun fishing with them. Had an absolute blast. So till the next time, guys, I'll see you. Oh, Guggen Warehouse tomorrow, I hope. Anyways, y'all, peace out.